Hey twins, what's up? It's Ashley from Serendipity Twin Flames Tarot. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you guys. This is an energy update. We're going to check you guys out and see what's going on for those that are on the Twin Flame journey, okay? These messages are for you. They're from your twin. It's channeling messages um, between the energy, right? What's going on right now behind the scenes? What are you not aware of, okay? I have some tarot. I have some oracle decks. I also want you guys to know I have a spring sale going on on my Etsy shop. Okay, 90% um, of everything pretty much on my uh, Etsy shop is on sale. And that includes my personal readings, my tarot, oracle decks, spiritual jewelry, all that. Okay, so check it out. All right, messages for my twins out there. Let's see what's going on. Um, we have deep thinking, okay? And we have regrets, okay? So your person's in this energy of deep thought, okay? This is someone who's overthinking a situation, overthinking a past, okay? A past situation. I feel like this person has done something that they really regret doing. And this could have been behavior, okay? This could have been them taking action, doing something they shouldn't have, um, saying something that was really mean and awful that hurt you. This person is now thinking about it. It's like literally they're in the bathtub at night, okay? Taking a shower where they have, you know, time to think, right? Their mind isn't constantly going, you know, a thousand miles per hour. When there's downtime, this person has time to think about what this connection was, okay? So this could be someone who lives a very fairly fast-paced life they keep themselves busy right they do a lot during the day full-time job part-time job out partying hanging out but then when there's that downtime oh yeah they're lost in their head okay so i'm thinking like an eight of swords nine of swords energy stress anxiety thinking something over and over and over okay and whatever they're thinking of there, there's a lot of regrets about what they could have done i feel this person is like reflecting on a situation they feel really bad about there's a lot of sadness there's a lot of hurt there's a lot of i wish i had done things differently shoulda couldas and what is right separation is here and then we have holding on so yeah i feel like your person feels responsible for the separation okay they're feeling like well damn i was the reason why this happened if i hadn't done this we would still be together so now your person is blaming themselves for something that has come to an end they feel like you are not talking to them right now your back is turned toward them and they're feeling the guilt they're feeling ashamed okay so it's like they're literally feeling responsible for this breakup okay and that's what they're regretting they're regretting doing something that they shouldn't have because whatever they did it may have led to a spiral effect a domino effect and led to this breakup so yeah this person's regretting because they feel like they missed out on something here i feel this person feels alone okay very much alone by themselves a loner they may like a lot of attention a lot of people around them but right now they're feeling alone because they don't have you in their life right they don't have your attention your love, your loyalty. You guys aren't paying them any mind anymore. And that's why this person holding on. They're holding on to what was. So this person doesn't want to let go. They feel you cutting ties with them. They feel you like you're like cutting the cord, right? Energetically, you guys are cutting the cord. You're saying, I don't need to hold on to this person anymore. So this is someone here who really is struggling with this separation. They don't want to admit this, though. I feel this person would hate to admit to you their wrongs. They would hate to show you that they're bothered, that they're sad, that they're living this regret. But they're holding on to what they could have with you. So this person is maybe thinking about coming together, reconciling vulnerability is here reciprocity is here so this person could be saying you know what i'm gonna hold on to this and i'm going to try to hold on and do better i'm gonna hold on because i can do better right so this person could be working on being more vulnerable being more available emotionally okay this person could have vulnerability issues they didn't want you to see them Okay, and I'm not talking about like seeing them naked. I mean, this person was afraid to let love in. They were afraid to love you, right? Like go all in. 
They were afraid to let you in. Their heart chakra, I'm getting, they were damaged. So this is someone who's saying, I want to be more vulnerable because I know in the act of vulnerability, I can experience this amazing love. And this is something that your person was afraid of. They were afraid. Who's afraid of love? So I think that your person was more afraid of the consequences, okay, the the... The idea that if they fell in love, they would lose control of themselves, that they could possibly, you know, end in like, um, it could be an ending of a, of a horrific, you know, a horrific ending. They were afraid that if they let you in, if they loved you, that you would leave them. They were afraid that they loved you, they would lose sense of self. You would be in control. You would be in power. So it could be like a power struggle. No, I want to be in control. I want to be in control, right? So yeah, your person is now working. Like I want to be vulnerable now because I want I want to experience that love that you gave me. But I wasn't ready for it. So we have reciprocity. So now your person is like, I want to give equally. I want to meet you halfway. So that could have been like the one of the biggest issues here. Your person didn't know how to give fairly. They didn't know how to give you them, a piece of them, right? So you could have felt like they were giving you crumbs. You could have felt like you were the only one that was really in it for the right reasons. You felt like you were alone in this partnership. And that's not a good feeling. You felt like you were doing all the work. You felt like you were the one putting 110%, but they were coming in with their 20 that's not enough. So I feel like it was very frustrating to deal with someone like this. I'm seeing that there was a lot of um, setbacks, right? A lot of challenges because you felt like you were going above and beyond, but they wouldn't do the same thing for you. So we have interference and we have negligence. Wow. So this interference card, this could be like any type of interference, right? This could be like family, friends, third party, like a romantic interest, could be like a co-worker this could be literally their job interfering right with their ability to love right they're working long hours only concerned about making money and that interfere with their ability to love you so whatever this is this interference card something interfered in this connection and that's the reason why this person had neglected you there's a reason why this person said you know what i can't do this anymore i have to let this go i have to give up on this so this negligence, I feel like there's like an abandonment here. This person could have left you on a moment's notice. I'm getting ghosted you, silenced you. I'm getting, literally, they, they did not tell you what they were planning to do. So it could have came to a shock. And that was what made it so devastating and so difficult because you never got any insight that this person wasn't happy or that they didn't want to be in this connection anymore. I feel like they just did it. So I feel like there are some things um, that your person regrets. They, they regret not putting in more work. They regret not actually staying around and really like trying to push this forward, trying to put their best foot forward. I feel this person gave up because there's been so many people in their life that's given up on them. Parents, close friends, past lovers who just threw in a towel and so they thought that they can do it too they thought they can just leave on a moment's notice and it would be all good and gravy no and then last but not least we have perspective so your person is now gaining a new perspective on the situation you can't do that you can't just hurt people and think you're just going to live your life and not think about what you did this person thought they can literally like fool you hurt you sabotage this relationship and run away and then they'll never think about it again but no that's not how it works so spirit is saying you gotta right your wrongs you gotta do better all right let's get some more messages for you guys if this reading resonates like your comment and subscribe okay you guys um Clarity. It says planning, releasing illusions. So now your person is breaking away from illusions, things that just don't make sense, things that are like literally in the way of them from seeing straight, right? Because when you move away from illusions, you're now seeing clear. You're seeing crystal clear. Things are illuminated to, your, to you that you haven't seen before. And it could have been always there right in front of their face. But I feel like this person was in this confused state of mind because there were illusions, there were distractions, there was interference, there was noise, so now your person is getting clarity on 
what this really was and what you meant to them. Because this person never showed you that you actually meant something of value to them. So they're moving past releasing these illusions. And now they're planning for the future. Because when this person becomes clear, okay, clarity, right? They become clear that you were the one that they should have picked. You were the one they should have been with. Now they want to make plans. Now this person is like wanting to take action, coming up with a strategy, a plan on how to do better, how to come back in your life and do it, have a second chance, do it better than how they did in the past. Death and rebirth, darkness to light. So now your person's going through, um, I'm getting an awakening, okay, like dark night of the soul, okay, they hit a plateau, there's an ending, transformation, this ending is bringing forth change, transformation, they're going through a really difficult ending, but that's what the death is about, but there's a rebirth. Endings bring forth new beginnings. And so now your person is going from this place of darkness where there's no clarity, there's illusions, and now they're going to the light where there's healing, right? There's illumination. They're seeing things the way they should have seen it all along, but they chose not to. So we have this rebirth card, which is indicating that your person is like, I want to try this again. I've gained a new perspective. I want to do over. I want you to be in my life. Right? So now your person's realizing that they do want change. This is the change they want. We have loss, lack, fear, victimization. So this person could have blamed you for things that they did. And I feel like now they're realizing that they were playing the blaming game. Right? They were playing the blaming game. They were pointing fingers at you for things that they've done that they wish they could have done better. So now this person is suffering great losses. They're suffering a loss of love, loss of companionship, loss of finances, okay? There's a lot of losses that your person's experiencing now because I feel like they were they were just going against the current, you know what I mean? Like this is someone who could be getting their karma because they just, they were going against their free will. You know what I mean? Like spirit is saying, okay, do this. But they were saying, oh, no, 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 no. I want to do this. I want to be bad. I want to <laughs> I want to be different. So they weren't listening to intuition. Right? So this person was um, going against the current, going against what spirit was telling them to do. And so now they're suffering loss. Now they're in this place of lack. Now they're afraid. We have the fear. Now they're afraid. They're, they're fearing the worst. They're fearing that their life is over. They're feeling like they're never going to experience love because they keep burning bridges. They keep sabotaging. Adjustments. Looking back, moving forward. So now your person's saying, I need to make some adjustments, right? If I want my person in my life, I got to learn to reciprocate. That's an adjustment. Reciprocating. I got to call more. I got to reach out more. I got to tell them you know, how I really feel. That's making adjustments. That's expressing themselves, being emotionally available, being vulnerable. Your person is realizing if I want to move forward, if I want to experience the love that I honestly feel like I deserve, that I honestly crave and want, I got to make these necessary adjustments because I can't keep doing things this way. It's not going to give me the result that I want. So your person is saying, okay, now I'm willing to come correct. Now I want to meet you halfway. Now I want to compromise. Now I want to open up my heart to you. Now I don't want to be stingy and selfish anymore, right? Wow. We got touching earth. So earth is like Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, earth, earth energy. This talks about stability planting seeds for the the long-term investments okay this is planting something new so now your person wants to replant this right this plant died let's replant this let's let's plant it in better soil right let's water it let's give it the nutrients let's nurture it so now your person's like i want to do better because i i believe that this can grow i believe there's a lot of opportunity here so they're coming back in touch with themselves with the divine, with source, touching earth, they're becoming more grounded. They're wanting stability. They're wanting commitment. They're wanting something for the long term. So good, good energy. Tenderness, true love, compassion. This person wants a little tenderness, right? Your person wants love. They want to experience love, TLC. They want compassion. They want to experience all that. And I feel like they lack that because maybe they didn't get it from early childhood but they realize that i could still get it even when i'm a grown adult i could experience love right i'm entitled to experiencing love 
And then we got the friendship card, support, fun, unity, play. So now your person wants to come in. They want to build a friendship with you. They want to come together in unity and harmony. They want to be playful. They want to go places. They want to be adventurous. They want your love and support. Yeah. So this person's changing. Okay. So let's get some more clarity for you guys. Any other messages for my twins out there? So the Hierophant came out in the verse. So you're dealing with someone who has some serious commitment issues. And I don't even think it's personal. You may have felt like, oh, this person just didn't want to commit to me. Oh, you know, this other person that they were with, this interference card, this person was better than me, right? They look better. They're much more sexier. But it had nothing to do with that. You thought that this person picked a third party over you because they were better looking and whatnot. But no, this person just didn't want to settle down. They didn't want to commit the time to wands. And so they kept you at a crossroads because they couldn't make up their mind this is someone who knew that you were a great catch but they still were very indecisive and honestly i'm getting the energy of you wanted this person to make a decision you wanted this person to finally move forward and pick you but at the time they felt that pressure from you that they didn't get from the other person and i almost feel like they chose the other person because literally they had all the time in the world to just do what they wanted to do make mistakes it was easier, like this third party allowed them to get away with stuff. You know what I mean? Like they, they allowed them to do whatever they wanted. Three cups, have fun, go out drinking, come home late, no curfew. They could talk to many different people simultaneously. So you guys may have had a problem with it, but whoever they were dealing with, this third party was like, oh, it's okay, you can do whatever you want. And so this is someone who could have taken advantage of the third party because they knew they couldn't take advantage of you anymore, right? Like time was up. They couldn't keep doing what they were doing to you. And so they realized, you know what? I'll pick someone else to do it to. So it's not that this third party was better looking, offered them better sex. No, it had nothing to do with that. This person just wanted to have fun, have casual counterparts, do as they come and go as they please, do what they want. Ten of Cups is here. So now this person's thinking about what they could have had with you, the Ten of Cups, because I feel like this person isn't really happy with this third party, I feel like there's a lot of fun, but when the fun is over, end of the day, it's like, it's not fun anymore. It could be fun in a moment when, when alcohol is involved, right? But the Ten of Cups, I get the sense that this person really wants family, home. They're thinking about that. Yeah, Three of Swords. And they sabotage that because they could have had all those things with you. They could have had family and structure and home, right? Building something very secure for the long term. They could have had those things, but they ruined it. And so now this person's thinking about how they hurt you, thinking about this breakup, this separation. And they're like, why did I do that? Refresh my memory. Why did I hurt my person? Why did I sabotage a good thing? It just don't make no sense. Five of swords, this person's in conflict. They're in conflict with themselves. Because a lot of you say, I'm not fighting you anymore. I'm not fighting for you. I'm not fighting for a commitment. I'm not doing that anymore. And so when you take your power back, when you let this person go, that's when they're ready to now do the work. Because this person has never let you go. Despite you feeling like, oh, they didn't want anything to do with me. Oh, they chose someone else over me. No, they never energetically let you go because they always thought that you would come back, that you would never leave. Yeah. Judgment in reverse. So this person's like, damn, I made a really bad decision. But that judgment in a verse is the energy of whatever decision that they've made, they're going to get to a point in time and realize that I need to do better. I need to start whipping my life into shape because they're now realizing I got to let go of these illusions, these <laughs> ideas that I could just do this and I'll find happiness eventually. I'll, I'll make do with what I have. No. They want real love and they realize that I got to do the work. I got to make these necessary adjustments. I got to open up my heart. I got to heal in order to experience that. So the judgment is really speaking about this person now wanting to do the work and realizing that you were, you were the person they should have been with. They made a bad decision, a bad judgment call, and they have never walked away from you. Six of swords in verse, they have not let you go, right? They're still holding on to what was and they're in conflict. Six of Swords is moving into peaceful, calm waters, but they have not moved on. They're still holding on to what they could have had. Everything that this was. So let's get the unsaid uh, love messages here. Okay, messages for your twin, you guys. 
stalking so this person is stalking you they have not literally they have not moved on so they're still watching you from a distance instagram facebook twitter they're still watching you wondering like what's going on with you if you are dealing with someone else I made the wrong choice. So this person saying to themselves, yeah, I should have chose you. I went in the wrong direction. I made a bad judgment call. I picked this person over you. This person meant nothing to me. I'm ashamed to admit that you were right. So <laughs> they could never admit this to your face that you were right all along. You were right. They should have been with you. You were the best person for them. You could have made them happy. But they didn't want to, they didn't want to come to terms with that. They didn't want to come to terms with their love for you. Wow. I'm paying for the repercussions of my actions. So this person is now getting the consequence. Now they're, they're literally the consequences of their actions, right? Now they're going through some kind of karma. The repercussions of what they did wrong is biting them in the butt. This person has not moved on. I wasn't in a place to settle down and fall in love, but then you came in. So yeah. They were not ready to love. That You met this person at the wrong time. This person was not ready to move forward. And keeping you a secret seemed easier. So this person told a lot of um, lies. They kept secrets. They kept, um, they told other people lies about you. They could have told this third party that they weren't dealing with you. So they kept you a secret. So they played a lot of games. This person, you know, played a lot of games, not just with you with everybody your energy is healing and nurturing so this person misses you they miss that love they miss that nurturing energy they miss your loyalty your touch they miss everything about you they have not let go so my twins that is what i'm seeing i hope you guys enjoyed this reading happy saint patty's day again my spring sale is going on on my etsy shop um 90 of everything is on sale okay till next week so take advantage of this limited time offer and you guys have a great remainder of your day. All right. Take care. Bye.